We are leaving San Diego, California right now. Vocab chilling with the A team, except for Adam Coleman's not with this. Shout out to Adam Coleman from True ID. David Wood, why are we leaving San Diego, California, bruh? Uh, well, we came out here to go to EPS and ETS, uh, the annual meetings of the Evangelical Philosophical Society and the Evangelical Theological Society. We try to make it every year, and uh, after that, we were we went to um, the Apologetics Conference, and we're meeting with. Uh, it's cool how many young young guys there are who are coming up to us telling us they want to do YouTube and yep. asking for tips and stuff. So it's cool. There's going to be the next generation. We're going to do it better than us. Uh, probably the most important thing we were doing out here, though, is we were meeting, plotting, planning with a bunch of other Christian YouTubers. You had all of the main Christian YouTubers out here uh, hanging out, meeting, planning, and it's uh, going to be cool what we come up with. So we didn't record a ton of stuff while we were out there. Uh, we were at meetings and so on, but we did take some clips, so here you go. John McRae. Yeah. What do you want to say about our trip to ETS as we leave San Diego? What do you mean? Okay, uh, what's your last name? McCray. MCC RY. And your first name? John. J. Wynn. Uh, there you are. Okay, so I got you all entered in, Mr. McCray. I just need to know who you're affiliated with. What do you mean? Uh, your organization, who you came with. What do you mean? Yeah. I, I need to know who he's affiliated with. What do you mean? Yes. Yeah, so Slow cab, what you got going on? I'm just learning the Bible from the Giants. The Giants, who do we have here? The we have the Giant Head. That's right. <laughs> Lemon Head. So we're here just stocking up on books so we can use to refute Islam and other attacks against the Bible and the triunity of God, Messiahship of Jesus. Keep praying for us in our ministries. And here's the giant right here. That's the giant. The logical giant. Hey, he's Captain Rogers. See, yeah. He's Xavier yeah, yeah. Rogers. He's got no, he's Captain ugly as sin. Yeah. He's logically he's a Did giant. you see when I debated Carlos Xavier, they said Captain America versus Professor X. <laughs> nice. Captain Rogers, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So <laughs> Captain Rogers knows his body shape. What do we got here? I see. Hey. I see Jorge. Yo, yo, yo. Look, I'm a sporting. Hey, you got one punch on there. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, what's happening, everybody? Here, Jorge Hill. Uh, from crossexamine.org just hanging out with the whole crew we're going to take over the internet when it comes to apologetics and uh, uh, theological education we're here to make it happen ain't nobody going to top us off man we are going to capitalize on this market and we're coming to a city near you and here we have the man who's schooling everybody on YouTube. <laughs> What's going on, Mike? Hey, hey guys, how's it going? What's your channel? My channel is my name, Mike Winger. There it is, right there. And um, yeah, I produce theology and apologetics videos and I beat David Wood in, a, in an online contest. And I so just... you know it's dope. <laughs> you know it's dope if you beat the Dizzle. Yeah, yeah, just uh, yeah. But it's, what's great about this whole thing is connecting with other guys that are doing the same missional mindset online, showing people the goodness and the truth of Christianity, and just uh, really putting on display the truth of Christ. So yeah, I'm very excited. And here we have a guy who's been doing it for a long, long time. Michael Jones, but you guys know him as Inspiring Philosophy. If you've not seen my face, it's it's here. Yeah, I didn't know what you look like until I was here. So yeah, so yeah, Inspiring. How long philosophy. you been doing it? Seven years now. Seven years in this December. So yeah, Inspiring Philosophy at YouTube. That's me. All right, that's him. You can get it there. Inspiring, very inspiring. <laughs> what we have over here. Hey, man. What are you doing, man? What do you mean? What, what do, do I mean? what? Yeah. What do you mean? What do I what? Forehead. Tell him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's me again. I told you we're going to take over. <laughs> all right, we got all of these people right here. John doesn't know awesome. what he means. What are you doing here? What, what, what are you uh, trying to get out of me? I'm just showing people how we are plotting to take over the internet. <laughs> yeah, baby. Come on. What's up, free thinklings? Welcome to the stratosphere. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> See this book I was looking at? Yep. 
excusing sinners and blaming God. Yim Bing Yong. You think I should get it? <laughs> I think you should pronounce the name right. Tell me about this book. Uh, I would stay away from that. Why would you stay away from it? French guy, what does he have to say? What's up, Ronnie? Thanks for your advice. What's your name? Uh, John Smith. Nice to meet you. John Smith? Hey, there goes that French heretic. Oh, is this? Oh, can you write one little thing in French? But don't yeah. make it. Just don't, oh, yeah, make it funny. Not wee wee wee, please. Something more, you know, like maybe something Calvin said or a scripture or. I'll just tell him what you're really thinking. He wants something romantic. No X's, no O's. <laughs> What's it say? J'ai tommy mon frère? What's that? Is that you are my friend? I love you, my brother. Oh, That's good, man. I appreciate it. You're a good sport. Out in San Diego. And this is crazy. This guy's from Madagascar. This guy's from Canada. The other guy uh, is Serbian, but he's French. And then the other two guys, Guillaume. There's two Guillaume's. And they're both French. And then here we are in San Diego again. Enough about the French guys. Check this out. Boom. How cool is that, right? Of course, there's David Wood as well. I don't know where Sam Shamu went. I'm Mary Jo Sharp. Hey, Rocks B and the Street Apologetics crew. Uh, guys, keep up the good work. And buy her new book. Why are you the Rodney Dangerfield Christian Apologetics? Well, because number one, everyone here has people blowing them up in their channel by interviewing them. While I sit in some corner over there and I get the big, great white dope taking shots at me saying I'm this, this jerk and I'm a nasty person and... Nobody likes me because I'm too proud and arrogant, and that's why I'm just going to be curled up in some corner over there, sucking on my thumb, hoping that I just blow up like the rest of you, panhandling, trying to make it as an apologist, and you guys just keep blowing up. That's why. How about that, huh? Don't hate. Participate. So uh, what do you think you could do to get more respect, Rodney? Uh, well, number one, i got to stay away from the great white dope because... With, with uh, enemies like that who needs friends. I mean, with friends like that who needs enemies. I mean, he's the greatest advertisement <clears throat> that I could have ever experienced in my life. He goes around telling people what kind of big jerk I am, even though I'm supposedly brilliant, but I'm just this arrogant jerk who can't get along with anybody and that people need to avoid me like the plague. Oh, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go, Sammy. Go, Sammy. Do you guys agree that Sam Shamoon is the Rodney Dangerfield oh, of no Christian respect, apologetics? Baby. Look at that. Look at that. I'm the G. Lee baby, brother. What do you guys think? Uh, no, <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield was both talented and hilarious. There you go. See? Sam is a loser, a uh, completely talentless loser that no one likes. Anyway. Go, Sammy. But I can put it's it on birthday. later for it's you. It's your birthday. What do you think Sam should do different? To not be the Rodney Dangerfield. Not great Christian uh, apologetics. He should stop. He should stop sucking. Um, he should get a different head, a different face. Um, use completely different arguments. I want to be your. So next year. I want to be your. Gone and round and I have a Come on, brother. Can you can you do a Rodney Dangerfield impersonation at all? Uh, I, I, oh, I get no respect. Oh, brother, get no. How about if I do the? How about if I do the? What, uh, the Halal Hogan version of Rodney Davis. Okay, sure, yeah. Hey, brother, ha, ha, get no respect, man. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is funny. So uh, earlier, uh, John and Anthony tried to be slick when the rest of us were walking, and they rented these uh, they rented these scooters and blew by us, and they're like, later, losers. And, uh, and then so we keep walking, and we get to, like, a traffic stop, and they're sitting there waiting, so we actually pass them. And then they blow by us again. They're like, ha ha, later losers. And then we, 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 we walk all the way back to the hotel and they're, they're out there trying to, trying to park these, these things and, and they can't figure out why it's not, it's not letting them, you know, release their credit cards. Uh, it turns out they, they could only get rid of these things in certain spots. So they had to go like two miles away and park. So me- they're just randomly laughing. Do you hear him? So, so <laughs> So anyway, so we're chilling in the hotel for like 20 minutes waiting on these guys who were supposedly like blowing us out the water. What's up with Anthony? Not, what, what is he doing? I'm going to have to flip it around so they... Wait, what is he? Are you going to get on a scooter again, Anthony? Dare I? <laughs> After that story? <laughs> Anthony, is that a true story? Yeah, it's a true story, but well, it happened twice.
Hey, yo, Wood. Yo, what's up? Drop a beat. Check it out, slice like Vader. Just past the elevator. Get high like an escalator. When I die, say see you later. Keep it up, we a debater. Like wood, I'm a gator. Biking on ETS. Rock the mic with the braviest. The craziest, not the laziest. Keep it up, now nah, they pay this kid. Super chat with a super rap. Okay, I'm alone, no taking a nap. Got the Davis Wood with the magic backpack. Keep it up now, now I got his back. It's like a chiropractor, I be a rapper. Swoop down on you like you like a raptor. Fuck, call me a raptor. Keep it up now, now we in the chapter. This is the end. What's up, Rogers? Italian, men, silly in. We out in the building. Get on with me, in the building. Is it? Here's a, here's a, what? ETS 2019, son. Yeah. Dude, all right. Dude, it's an iPhone 8. I'm not, I'm used to an iPhone 5. Yo. So, uh, we're in San Diego at the In-N-Out Burger. This is uh, Michael from Inspire Philosophy. This is Mike Winger, Eric Hernandez, and then behind the camera, Kurt, and David Wood. David Wood said he has a story to tell us, an in and out burger story um, that is with him and the bill. So David, go ahead and tell us. Oh yeah, I didn't tell him this story, but uh, I, I said it, it, it's, it, it'd be cool to record. Anyway, so this was a couple years back. Um, this is when the bill had cancer and things were getting kind of bad. He was getting to the point where he couldn't really eat anything. He would, he would, he wasn't hungry most of the time, but he would occasionally get hungry and he would want to eat. And as soon as he would eat something, uh, he would be sitting there with us for like ten minutes, and then he would, he would just disappear, and he'd be, he'd be gone for like an hour, and he would be uh, throwing up in the bathroom. And this happened every time he would eat for multiple days. He would just, he would just disappear and get sick and throw up. Anyway, we uh, drove from Houston up to the Dallas area, and we were hanging out with Daniel Wallace and Ed Komajewski and Rob Bowman, and Nabil got into this big argument with uh, Daniel Wallace about, uh, about some things with, with the New Testament and so on. And uh, they were arguing for a while, and I noticed Nabil ate an entire meal and he was just, just kept arguing and arguing and arguing and arguing and arguing. Then we finished and he didn't get sick. And so I was like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe like the arguing is affecting his adrenaline or it's distracting him or I don't know what's going on. Anyway, it was uh, later that evening we were driving back to Houston and Nabil said, I'm hungry again. And so I was like, well, this is awesome, right? Because, you know, it's, it's been, it, it, it sucked watching him, you know, not be able to, to eat because the dude loved to eat. So anyway, we stopped at In-N-Out Burger, and I was like, I need to test this theory that if he's arguing, um, it'll distract him enough or something like that, and so he can actually eat. So he went and ordered a couple of uh, a couple of double burgers and stuff, and we sit down, and I start I just start arguing that his uh, that his master's thesis is is basically garbage, right? <laughs> I start just talking trash, and I'm like nitpicking every little thing, and I'm like, you know what you should have argued. You know what you should have argued? And I start giving them this argument, which is plausible enough that he could think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really arguing this point, but uh, also there's, there's plenty of responses. And he got angrier and angrier as, 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 uh, as, as, we were, uh, as we were arguing about this. And then he starts like pulling stunts like, well, at Oxford, that will never fly and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, you're pulling Oxford on me right now? So anyway, we're arguing, arguing. He ate all his food. And we got back into the van and he fell asleep. And so I was like, oh, this is how Nabil can eat a bunch of In-N-Out burgers is if I is if I just like, just jump right into something he, you know, is, is supporting in his paper and his conferences. And uh, he'll get angry enough that he doesn't even realize that he's got massive stomach problems. So anyway, that was it, In-N-Out burger. So that was my In-N-Out story. Okay. Uh, no. I feel like I, I feel like I'm seeing double here. They call me lowercase. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's you need to check the I know. <laughs> it's vocab and lowercase. Uh, but for real, get logo software. It's awesome.
Oh, you owe you owe John McRae seventy five cents, ma'am. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. So um, we're leaving ETS here in San Diego in the Apologetics Conference. I'm with John McRae and David Wood. This is vocab, by the way. Hello. And uh, I said, hey, let's stop by the Israel United in Christ San Diego school real quick. Let's go by the IUIC school. And uh, we just drove by one time to see where it was, and they already saw us. So they're already out. You see them right there? They're already out in front of us, filming us on the phone and stuff, keeping guard, which is fine. We're just going to do about a 10-minute video, or actually maybe even less and talk about our thoughts on them. So we got David, he's had to deal with them a few times because of his association with me. We got John and he's had to deal with them as well. All right, what's up y'all? This is Vocab Malone, street apologist, chilling with the homies David Wood of Act 17 Apologetics and John McCray from What Do You Mean? Definitely subscribe to both their channels. They're part of the Apologetics A team. You know, these two men have had to deal a lot with the Hebrew Israelites, not because they wanted to, but because of their association with me. So here we are today, going to get a quick take on what they think about this group's behavior, just from their limited experience. But this is IUIC San Diego. Now, they saw us here. We didn't knock on the door or anything. We're just outside to show you how this movement is growing. In fact, uh, this school is kind of hard to find. Uh, there's so many of the schools that they're just popping up all over. But this is IUIC. Uh, they went right inside. Outside of San Diego. Yeah, they, went, went, yeah, outside they went inside. They, they saw in. us and they went inside because, uh, like Wood said, cowards. Yeah, they, they were on the street, and when we walked, they turned the other way and went inside. Yep. And that's I, mean, a, I mean, I mean, seriously, th think, think, how, think how awesome it would be to come outside with their cameras rolling mm -hmm. and just completely crush vocab Malone, right? Yeah. You're, you're, you're the guy. Why, why in the name of common sense would they not do that unless they just... They just don't think they can, man. Come on. Yeah. So that's their position. Well, uh, y'all pray. Pray for IUIC and the other Hebrew Israelite groups. Pray for them because they're not only here, right here in San Diego. They're all over California. Not only are they all over California, they're all over the United States. And now this group specifically, IUIC, is doing mission trips to West Africa, such as Sierra Leone. Now they're all over the world. And you can see it right on their website, israelunite.org. And you'll see what's up. There they are looking through the blinds. Look, they're looking through the blinds. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, wow, he's really looking through the blinds there. <laughs> That's why they got a camera up there. <laughs> <laughs> cowards. This is super weird. It's funny, we're <laughs> out here. you get a better shot? We're cowards. out here calling them cowards. Here we are in San Diego, and IUIC just called the cops on us. Fortunately, we have left. But they, well, we should go. We should go out there and talk with them. What? The cops? Huh? Yeah. Why? Oh, sorry. Look at this. They called the cops on us. I don't want to. Oh, I got someone. Oh. I don't want to talk to them. Huh? No, we're not going to talk to them. Where'd the cops go? Cops right there. Oh, what are they working right outside the school? What the heck, man? They seriously called the cops on us. I told you oh. they were going to call the cops on us. I told you guys they were going to call the cops on us. Uh, you thought I was joking. They called the cops on us, man. I cannot believe that. We just called them cowards. <laughs> <laughs> that scared of somebody? That scared of somebody that you're going to call the cops just because you're afraid to debate them? That's crazy. Crazy. Never seen nothing like that in my life. Yo, I told you they are going to call the cops, man. That's crazy. We should walk back down. Nah, bro. We, we got to get back home. It's just hilarious. Man. That is funny. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Save us. Hello, police? <laughs> yeah, there's a crime being committed. <laughs> Vocab alone is making us look stupid. <laughs> call YouTube. Call, call the police. Call everyone to help us. We're, we've got the truth. <laughs> what is this? What is this religion, man? Cult of cowardice. 